Opening of a bank account has generally become a nightmare. This is a general acknowledgement. We know that, we appreciate this. I do understand that sometimes in Cyprus it's a bit more difficult to open a bank account instead of your local countries. But this is because Cyprus is fully compliant with all AML regulations. It has been heavily been scrutinized by the European Union representatives in order to be fully transparent with all, with all the latest directives. So, which information is needed to open a Cyprus bank account? UBO, ultimate beneficial owner. The banks, like ourselves, they need to know who is the ultimate beneficial owner, who owns the company and who owns this bank account. So they will need a recent utility bill, an identity card or passport copy, which will be notarized or apostille, a cover letter by the, C by the UBO explaining their source of wealth, how wealth was created, and how wealth is spread. Don't get paranoid. Most of our clients do get paranoid about the third point. It's just for the, this is a normal requirement. It's not, I mean, you have visited Cyprus, you have created a company, and you want to open a bank account. The bank needs to know how wealthy, how wealthy are you? Do you have money? Are you a millionaire? They need to know in order to serve you better, categorize you better, because they, of course, are monitored and supervised by their own regulators. So this is now a, a standard requirement. Don't get paranoid about it. You don't need to disclose your tax return, you just need to write a letter to them, explain them how you earn your money, and if possible, provide to the bank a piece of information that validates what you say. I emphasize this point because this is an iffy point for all of us. We understand it, but it is what it is. The bank doesn't need to know if you have 10 flats or if you have uh, 15 flats and where these flats are located. They just need to know that you have several flats which value is x and that you own two and that you have two loans maybe so you own that amount of money and of course you have some shares in various stocks they need to feel comfortable that they know with whom they're dealing with if you want to present them with your tax returns which we advise it expedites the whole process because it's a legal document it declares everything and it, it moves the weight of the banker's shoulder who has to approve your application. The other point, of course, is the CV, the curriculum vitae, and this is something that the bank requires in order to see that the company that you have set up makes sense to who you are and who your credentials are and what your experience is. So, if you are, for instance, a captain in a boat and you want to create a company, a technology company, this doesn't make much sense. So the bank is going to ask much more information. Well, what do you know about technology if you're driving a boat every day? And who has advised you? What kind of technology you're going to create? Et cetera, et cetera. So the CV is required for that purpose. Last point, local tax clearance is not requested, as we say, but if available, it speeds up the process. I've explained this earlier on. A tax clearance is the strongest piece of evidence that you can give to the tax, is this, that you can give to the bank and will show to the bank who you are, how much you earn, where you earn them, what's your tax code, and it will fill in lots of the ticks in the application form. If you want to open now a personal bank account, these are the requirements that you need to comply with. We're not going to go into the details because opening a personal bank account is covered basically by the majority of the company questions and information the bank needs. And once they have those, they will proceed with opening your own personal account here in Cyprus. Company. Once the bank gets the information about the UBO, then the bank will request the company certificates, which if they are local company certificates need to be in original form. If they are overseas, because maybe the shareholders are an overseas uh, 
company, maybe it's a subsidiary, they need to be apostyled and stamped by the local authorities. As we mentioned there, they will need company statutory details, so the bank needs to know who the owner of this company is, the secretary, the shareholders, the latest audited financial statements, if it's not a new company. If this company falls under a group, so if the shareholders are another company which falls in a group, the bank is, needs to know about it. Again, the bank needs to know, okay, I know who you are and why you have created this company. I need to know what this company does, which are their suppliers, its clients, the website, any contracts that you have with suppliers or with creditors. I need to know as a bank exactly what you do. So I need to know exactly that you as a person, I need to know who you are as a person, which is the, point, the first point of the presentation. And now for your company, I need to know exactly what your company does. I need to know their suppliers, your, cl your clients. I need to know where you have offices. I need to know if you have a website. If you're part of a group, I need to know where you're expecting to receive money from, where your payments are expected to occur, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I know that the initial feeling from all of our clients, especially from clients who used to deal with banks here in Cyprus several years ago, all this is overwhelming. But this is the new reality. This is something required globally. It's very rare to have a fully transparent state that is in the white list, as we call it, of the European Union directives of the USA uh, accepted jurisdictions for transaction and not require all this. The countries that do not require all this are countries that you wouldn't want to put your money in. Regulated states, Serious states, serious tax jurisdictions with serious banks require that they know who the UBO is, they know exactly who they are and what they do, and they need to know exactly what their company does and how it does it. Otherwise, they will fail against their own regulators. All banks are supervised by the central banks who themselves are regulated by the European Commission and the European Central Bank, who itself is regulated by other European regulations. We're not going to go into depth who regulates what, but we are all a family, and the family of Europe gets regulated heavily. So if you want to trade within Europe, if you want to take advantage of the double tax treaties, if you want to take advantage of European VAT rules, if you want to take advantage of the prestige and the market, you need to have possibly a European bank which will fall under all this. To wrap up, we talk about the incorporation of a Cyprus company, its composition and the opening of a bank account which can be local or overseas or both.